A lime, a mime, a pool of slime. More about nouns. A mime, a lime, a mime, a pool of slime. Noun, a word that names a person, animal, place, or thing. A jet is a noun and so is Peru. A net is a noun like a chimp or the zoo. Friend is a noun and so is your dad. Ice cream and bagels and Boston and Brad. If it's a hippo, house or ham. If it's your coach, a roach or a ram. If it's a rock, a clock or clown. Then oh my gosh, Josh, it's a noun. And so is a comma and your mama, a billy goat, a baby llama, a doorway, Norway, hand-me-downs, all the things you see are nouns. If it's a person, place, or thing, a palace, pal, or shiny bling, a shack or sheriff in your town, it's fundamental, it's a noun. But there are nouns you cannot touch or smell or hear or see. This type is called an abstract noun like joy and harmony. Love and hate are abstract nouns and so are peace and hope. You cannot taste or hold them like a tart or telescope. Proper nouns all name specific people, things, and places. Uncle Lou or Timbuktu, they start with upper cases. Like Mallory or Valerie, the 17th Street Gallery, Pizza Pete's and Ming's Chinese, proper nouns name each of these. Or Brannigan and Flanagan, parading in with Anne again. Paris, France, and your dog Chopper, all these nouns are mighty proper. Whether they're abstract or proper or neither, whether it's talent or Timmy or teether, if it can be thought about, ridden uptown, talked to or walked to, it's surely a noun. Like beagle or eagle, a robin or wren, a scooter, a tutor, a pig or a pen. A lime, a dime, a pool of slime, a breeze, a sneeze, a scary mime. Nouns are words like girls and curls, cats and flats and hats and pearls, a crumb, some gum, a tiny rocket, a noun can be what's in your pocket. If it's a tape or DVD, a teacher's aid or Germany, a coat that's made of wool or down, then say it with me, it's a noun. So what is a noun? Do you know?